You guys are in for such a treat today. If you're new around here, my name is Jamie and welcome to my channel. I'm normally the only one in my videos, but I have two special guests today and I will introduce them to you in just a second. I just wanna let you know what this video is going to be all about. So we did a shopping trip at Loft and found some really great things. So we wanna show you five outfits on each of us and a lot of the items are the same things. And we are also going to concentrate on shape. So I am rectangle shape where Adrian is pear shaped. So we're gonna show you these outfits on two different body shapes so you can get an idea of what they look like. So now it's time for me to introduce you to my special guest. And this is Adrian, you wanna say hi? Hey. And then this is Robin, her guide dog. So Adrian is my sister-in-law and of course, Robin, she's had for what, seven years in November? Okay, so I have talked about her before in my videos. For so for those of you that know and have watched my videos, we do a lot of shopping together. I have helped her for about 15 years find things because she is blind and she was not born blind. It has progressively happened throughout her adulthood. And I do wanna add that she's married and has three awesome boys and one just entered college. So <laughs> she looks really young, you would never know that. And so I have helped her for a long time. We both love shopping at Loft. And a lot of times we find the same things that we love. And even though we're different body shapes, because we're gonna concentrate on that a little bit, because I do believe that certain things look better on certain body shapes, but I also believe that you should wear what you love. And the reason why I wanna tell you about Adrienne being blind is because since she has not been blind all her life, she kind of knows colors and textures and styles so when i explain them to her and describe them to her she knows whether they're cute or not and then she knows whether she likes them by putting them on her body and how she feels so i think it's very important although we're going to show you different body shapes that you also realize that if you love it and want to wear it that you absolutely should so adrian wanted to add something and i'm going to get kind of close so she can talk into my mic and you guys can hear her so you can go ahead so I tell everyone Jamie is my personal shopper because I get compliments on my wardrobe all the time and people say, how do you do it without being able to see? So Jamie gets all the credit. Aw, that's really, really <laughs> sweet. Thank you. I want to explain first that a lot of these items are from Loft and they are part of their fall. Some of these you will be able to click the link. Actually, you'll click the link on all of them and go to it, but some of them will be already online and some of them will be a part of their sneak preview. And you're, if you're not familiar with their sneak preview, you won't see these items until they actually put them on for real sale that is part of their promotion. You would have to go in the search box and hit sneak, put, type in sneak preview for them to come up. And I didn't realize that when we bought these, but I was actually kind of happy because that means that all of these items or most of these items are gonna be available if you wanna purchase them. I actually think this one is available now and one other one, but all the other cute tops that we got are gonna be part of that sneak preview. You'll still be able to see them, but you may not, and buy them, but you may not be able to get a discount on them. So before I get started on the outfits, I do want to tell you that Adrian is normally a small or a medium in tops at Loft, and then she is a size medium and then a 30 in their jeans. And that is just for reference. And she is 5'6 in height. Is that correct? Okay. And I'm 5'4, normally an extra small or small in their tops at Loft. And their bottoms don't always fit me great. So these are my own bottoms that I'm wearing today. And if I were to wear bottoms from them, sometimes I'm between sizes and it's usually a 25 or a 26, sometimes a 24 depending. So, and I will include all of these things in the description for you below. And we'll go ahead and talk about the outfits because this was Adrienne's favorite. So I asked her what her favorite was before we started the video so she could put it on first. And y'all, this is not easy for someone to do. So please give us a like if you love this video and also leave a comment that's really sweet below and please be nice. I always ask, just be nice and positive. But anyway, these pieces were her favorites and I know why, because they look awesome on her. This is one of the cutest tops that we found. And normally I don't do the puff sleeve, the flutter sleeves, but this one actually came in on my shoulders because I'm a uh, inverted triangle. So I can't usually wear these, but Adrienne is actually very small on the shoulders. So these are perfect for her. You can see where it comes in on my shoulder and it comes out on her shoulder because 
that's the difference. Mine are just wider than hers. And so we always try to add a little bit here, and that's what this blouse did. So this is one of our favorites, really cute. And we both put it on with a pair of flares because actually I need to balance my upper body and my lower body as well. And I think that's what everybody tries to get to when they're a certain body shape. And I think the flare jeans are amazing on her because they help balance everything. And her waist comes in here. We have the shirt untucked on her where I have it front tucked because I wanted to demonstrate this because a lot of people say that they do not like front tucking their shirts. So this is a top that you could wear that looks great just out on her body shape. I'm gonna pull it out so you can see it on mine and you can see that it's just, it hits me a lot longer. It goes past my hips. It hits me in a weird spot and I just lose all of my shape. But for her, it looks really flattering. Now, Adrian, front, let's do a front tuck. I'm gonna show you a front tuck with a shirt on her as well. And so she will do a front tuck if she can get it to blouse a little bit. And of course, these jeans are, are a high rise, which looks really good on her. And with it front tucked, I'm just gonna spin you a little bit, you're good. With it front tucked, it still looks amazing so she could do either way with this but if you're not comfortable with the front tuck just leaving it out looks great and i think one of the main reasons is because the flare the flare gives a lot of shape here we both put on a camel boot because it goes back with the yellow that there's a little bit of yellow in this top and it just complemented it really well and adrian doesn't wear really high heels what we, we keep you in like a one one and a half inch heel normally because you saw Robin and she has a harness and that harness is actually measured to Adrienne's height. So if she gets any taller than that, she cannot walk with her as well, right? And so that's why we keep her in a lower heel. So don't think that <laughs> you have to wear a high heel with the flares. Will you just turn to the side a little bit? So you can see here that her heel is not very high. And so the jeans hit in the perfect length. They're about a half an inch from to an inch from the floor, and that works really well. All right, so the next outfit we have is also with a pair of flare jeans. It's the same jeans that we had on, but we added this really beautiful green blouse. I think this is my number one favorite piece because of the color, but this is just a tie neck blouse. It has a really pretty ruffle collar, and she does have some statement earrings on with it. I don't know if you guys noticed that, but you know, when you have a solid color top, you can do a lot of fun things with your accessories. And again, we just, we left it untied. And again, we left the hem of the shirt out. We did not tuck it in and I have mine front tucked. That is just how I love to wear mine. And I will untuck it so you guys can see again, it's, it's a little long and loose, but if you like that and you're tall enough, you can definitely do it. So she's five six, which gives her a little bit more height. So this looks really good. I think this is a great blouse that you could wear just as an everyday, whether you're going to church like this, or you can even throw a blazer on, which we'll show you in just a second, and even dress it up a little bit more. But you would wear this probably out on a date night with your husband too, right? So really really fun top and it's called a mixed media blouse because it has like a polyester in the front but the back of it which i'll turn and show you is more of a cotton rayon material and that's what mixed media means when you see that on an item and i'm telling you this because adrian didn't know this either and you may not know but mixed media just means mixed materials on the top so you might have a panel that's one material and then another panel another material okay so i really wanted to show you guys this blouse with a blazer and this blazer is from loft we've had this for a few years i think I think her mom, my mother-in-law, also has this blazer. It's just great. And they do these blazers every year, so they do have other colors in this this season. So I'll also link that in the description below if you guys are interested. But it's just kind of a knit blazer. It's really comfy and stretchy, and I thought it was a really good look over this top. It's, it's a contrast because the blazer is light gray and the top is dark green and the jeans are darker, so I thought it was just a fun look. And Adrienne wanted to let you guys know something about, because her she left her top out and I front tucked mine. And so I'm gonna let her tell you her thoughts on front tucking since a lot of people have had comments on my channel about it. So what do you think about front tucking, Adrienne? 
I never liked front tucking because it made me self-conscious to have my belly showing, but Jamie has convinced me that sometimes it makes me look better. So I'm not front tucking this blouse, but not because I don't want to show my belly, just because it looks better on me. But I do front tuck sometimes. Yeah, that's cool. And I have. I've tried I've tried to get all the people I know to just try it and see if it works. If it doesn't, then you know you can wear the blouse out and it still looks really good, especially if you get a blouse that has really cute details like these that we have shown you. Okay, so now for a really casual option, and we were kind of struggling with this one a little bit because these are Adrian's first straight leg jeans, and of course, you guys know if you've tried straight legs, it takes a minute to get used to them, and you have to figure out what shoes work, and so we decided to do her lower um, lace-up sneakers with this, and with mine, uh, we had tried a more wedge, higher uh, shaft sneaker, and I didn't love it as much because she would have to roll her jeans up, which makes that super casual and more leisure feeling. And it didn't really go with this sweatshirt. Even though this is a sweatshirt, it has a blouse feel to it. So it's one of those tops that we're kind of missing in our wardrobes that is casual, but feels or looks a lot nicer, if that makes sense. Does that make sense? <laughs> but we're always missing that. And this one is a comfy, casual sweatshirt style. It's got a cute little puff sleeve. We always try to find puffs or something that gives a little bit more width to her shoulders. And this looks really good on her shape. We've kept it untucked. I actually front tucked it again, but I will untuck it so you guys can see if I wanted to be a little bit more casual. And the crossbody bags I thought were a cute complement to this. And we did it as part of the outfit. You can see hers matches her shoes and mine matches my shoes. And so that just kind of happened that way. But we thought this was fun. And this straight leg at Loft is really good. It's got a decent high rise on it, right? It comes up to your belly button, which all of these jeans did come up to her belly button. They're considered a high rise. But you said they were really comfortable, right, on you, which very some, very comfortable. So some high rises are not that comfortable on her as well as on me but i have my madewell ones on which these are their perfect vintage jean that are my favorite and we just got her these and she is loving them right you said they're really comfortable so this is just a fun outfit that she would wear running around probably even wear to work because her work environment is super casual and we just thought this was fun doing two different colors in this because there were multiple colors in this little sweatshirt top that looks more like a blouse and just thought it was a lot of fun okay so robin has decided to join us in this video and i'm just gonna let her stay there because she's so cute but we wanted to talk about we were just discussing on what we were going to put with this cute little tunic and we tried the straight leg jeans and we tried a couple of shoe options and this is what we came up with because with a straight leg jean and it being wider, it doesn't look good if you have a higher shaft shoe on. So we did the lower shaft booty and we want to show you the contrast between what this looks like and then a skinny jean. This outfit is another really casual outfit and we loved this tunic. We love blue and gray. They make some of the best casual wear. And this one is so fun, even though it's longer. We have it left out for Adrian. It looks really good. It has slits in the sides here, which I'll show you on me. And we put hers with a skinny jean. And you can see this comparison as opposed to the straight leg and the skinny jean with this tunic. The straight leg comes down long enough and we put a little bit of a high top chunkier shoe on with this and it helps balance from head to toe and i really love the skinny jean a lot better and that brings me to my next point where a lot of people say that pear-shaped people should not wear skinny jeans and i have to disagree with that because i think there's a way that you can style them on lots of different body shapes and make them look good and adrian wanted to add in something about the skinny jeans I love my skinny jeans. I just make sure that I ask Jamie to tell me what looks good with them and what doesn't, but I love them. I don't want to give them up just because I'm a pear shape. Yeah, and I don't think you should have to. And so let us know in the comments below if you like this version better or if you like the straight leg better because we both like the skinny leg version and with the shoes and you know, it just, we have a shoe that's almost the same color as the jeans, which this is a black jean, but it's a washed black, so it looks more gray. So we put the gray shoes on with it and it just creates a continuous look. And this little wedge sneaker gives her a little bit more height since she does have the longer tunic on. And so my version is about the same thing. It's the same color in the jeans, but they are 
more of a slim straight. You can see at the bottom where they kick out just a little bit. So they look like a really skinny straight leg jean. And I put them on with a low top sneaker because that is what felt best for me since this kicks out a little bit. If I don't have the exact right height in the shoe on, it just doesn't look that good. So to me, this was my kind of run around casual outfit option. And this I think is one of my favorites. I would live in this every day. You probably would too, right? Oh, yeah. So this is definitely two thumbs up, one of our favorites. Okay, so this one is actually a really fun outfit. And a lot of people may look at the ponchos and say, they don't have any shape. They're not the greatest thing to wear, but honestly, we both think that they are really cute. So Loft always does ponchos for the fall season and they have them in stripes and they have them in solids. So we decided to do both one each for you so you could see. And I think Adrian could wear the solid and I could wear the stripe. But the idea of the poncho is it's just a fun thing to wear. And it's actually really cute. We have decided to style it with a pair of skinny jeans on her. She has the cow neck here. So this helps give a little volume to the top part of her. And then the poncho goes straight down and the skinny jeans go straight down. So I thought this was a really good look and there's not a huge contrast between the pieces. So even though it's a light gray and a dark gray and then a black shoe, I feel like it has more of a monochromatic feel as opposed to a heavy contrast, even though you do have the stripe. She could do lighter colors on the bottom and a shoe if she wanted to do like an ivory jean or something and that would be pretty as well. But I, I think that something like this can be worn by a lot of different body types. You just really need to think about balancing your bottom half with it. And if you are an apple shape and you have really, really skinny legs, the thing that you would need to do is maybe wear something that had a little bit more volume on the bottom that was a little more straight down as opposed to really skinny on your legs. So if you look at this, you can kind of see what I'm talking about and how that works. And then the same thing for me. Like, I think this is a good look for me as well. I have the same jeans on that I had the last time. They go over my ankle boot. Both of our jeans are going over the top of our ankle boot, and we both chose to do black with this. Now, I have navy on, which is a little bit darker on top, and I still thought it was a really good look, and it's just a fun look for the fall. So you don't always want to be in fitted things, and when it's cold, you just want to be super casual and cozy. And I just thought these were really fun and comfortable looks for us to wear for the fall season. So I hope you guys enjoyed those five outfits that we showed you. If you have any questions about anything on this video or if you're interested in any, in any of these pieces, I have linked them for you below. And thank you so much, Adrian, for coming and doing this with me. It's been a blast. Have you had fun? It was fun. Good, good. And of course, Robin had a good time as well. So um, if you guys want to check out any of my other videos, I do have one that I just did that's for classic color combinations and an H&M haul combined. I will put it here if you want to click it and check it out. And also, if you have time, hit that subscribe button. Also, give us a thumbs up if you really love this. So thanks so much for watching, and I hope you have a great day.